would willingly buy and wear fake shoes. Which way is this agree? Yeah. You know what? I'm no, I'm be. So I do YouTube, and some of my stuff is like pranks. So I buy the fakes and I wear it in the pranks. The reason I didn't go all the way is because I would not wear them like in public to like places, but I'll wear them for content, if that makes sense. I'm not buying no fakes. If I can't afford it, then I'm, there's no need for me to have it. I feel the same way he feel. If I can't afford it, ain't no need for me to, I ain't gonna fake it. I've got scammed a couple times, but uh, yeah, I'm not with fakes. <laughs> I always have to have my shoes legit checked anyway from my son, so I would only get real shoes, never no fakes. It's just not in my DNA to do that. <laughs> What's up, y'all? My name is Legit Tim. I've made some of the most viral sneaker videos on the internet. We do TikTok, we do YouTube, and I'm coming really representing the new generation of kids that are on social media, seeing what they like. So it might mix up pretty well, it might mix up pretty bad, but we're gonna see. I'm also from Texas, which is different from these guys. So it's gonna go down. You can never have too many sneakers. You can never have too many sneakers. This is disagree? Yeah. Oh, oh this is disagree. This is disagree. I strongly agree that you can never have too many shoes because you buy what you like. If you have the space to put them in, get what you want to get. Nobody can tell you what you can and can't get. Tell that to my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like there's been times where I just feel like I have a lot of GRs sitting there and like they're all beat and they're just like trash. And I'm like, why do I still have these in my room? So I feel like the moment that they become like super, super, super beaters where the laces are like destroyed and they're like at the point of no return, they don't need to be in my house. So I feel like I always wanna have like the best sneakers at a time, rotate them and then donate them to the children. I mean, I, uh, I've been buying a lot of sneakers, but my thing is recently I've been trying to kind of make room and, and, and uh, work on my quality as opposed to my quantity. Cause right now I got a bunch of stuff that like, All right, I, so buy, come on over here. I buy, I sit on it and I don't, I don't wear it. But at the same time, no, that, that's why I'm not, that, I don't strongly, I don't strongly agree because I mean, I'm buying, I bought some shoes two days ago. <laughs> I was still buying shoes, right. I'm, buying, I'm buying them faster than I'm getting rid of them, but, but I'm fighting with myself. So, I mean, I'm standing here cause I mean, <laughs> I'm still buying, I'm not going. Nah, it's definitely quality over quantity. Yeah. Right. For sure. But you can never have too many. No. Okay. No. I almost wanted to be here. So yeah, I stood over here on agree because I look at shoes kind of like a mood. You know, you can't have too many moods. You know, as your moods change, so does your shoes. So it's just kind of how I look at it. I think it's only about seven moods, but um, <laughs> 365 <laughs> days a year, two feet, buy the shoes you want. If you get tired of them, give them away, buy some more. You're gonna need them until you die. Can't have too much. I love giving you on that side of the No, I agree you can't have too many because you just keep on buying them and you get rid of them, still not too many. Unless you go bankrupt over them. That's why I don't strongly. I feel it, I feel it. Okay, you know what it is, it's your boy Trey. You know what I'm saying? I've been in the game for 18 years, collected for 18 years, and I'm qualified to be in this, this video because DJ's my friend, it's his video. Hello? It's okay to still wear Yeezys. What? Uh, hmm. I'm gonna stay in the middle. No, you gotta pick. You have to pick? Yeah. I'm interested to hear. Go ahead. I just feel like they're out of style. I don't really care. I just feel like they're out of style. But I only wear the slides when I walk my dog. Okay. Nobody's got on Yeezys today. So, I'm gonna tell you how I feel. So, so I feel like 350s got played out, but I don't feel like all Yeezys got played yeah, out. Like, yeah. like my, uh, my, my, uh, my Wave Runners, I still wear them. I wore them like the other day. But uh, my 350s, and I still work out in those, so they're comfortable. But 350s got played out, they overdid them, they outdid them. But, but I don't think all Yeezys, it's not, all Yeezys ain't bad. I still rock the 700s for sure, to this day. And the Nike Yeezys are still going. You still could be dipped. Yeah, I mean, what, what Yeezys are you talking about? Support that, brother. You talking about all right. Yeezys? 
Adidas Yeezys or Yeezys in uh, general? Yeah, yeah, no, Yeezys no, in no, general. Y'all wearing, y'all wearing the Nike Yeezys. I know y'all wearing the Nike Yeezys. Yeah. The Red October's y'all wearing though, so y'all can do it. But I just feel like. Hold on, but you disagree strongly. Yeah, he disagrees strongly. He never liked Yeezys. That's why. Yeah, I never liked Yeezys. I did like the Red October's. I ain't gonna lie about that. But <clears throat> otherwise, that no, I don't like none of the styles. I don't. It's too weird for me. So I just wouldn't wear no Yeezys. But I just also feel like. Uh, Wearing the Yeezy 2 is not even worth it because most of the people don't know what they are and you're just gonna beat the shoe up a little more. Mm. So for me, I'll keep my Yeezy 2s in, on ice. You know what I mean? Mm. Make sense? So yeah, no, Yeezy, not really. I mean, you should be, you should no, I like the Yeezys. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love Kanye. Put them in the casket with you? No, not that much. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not that much. No. Um, I'm rocking with Yeezys because like, it's Kanye West. I mean, granted he is batshit crazy, but. Legend. It's part of the genes. Yeah. Right. And style always comes back. Style gonna always circle back. So what's out of style today gonna be in style 10 years from now? Not them 350s. <laughs> <laughs> them so. Yeah, my boy. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, back on the line. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Jay Maz. Um, I've been collecting for about 15 years now, and I'm qualified because I'm Portland's finest. You feel me? I, I bring that to the table, so here we go. If she's wearing dirty, all white Air Force One, I can't date her. That's tough. I like a hard worker. I don't mind dirty white forces. Then you should be over here. That's agree that you can't date her. Oh yeah, but but white forces are burnt out. Dirty white forces are still <laughs> burnt out though. But she's a hard worker, so I, I'm 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 still on the agree side. I'm strongly because just because she has dirty white forces, she could be a lazy girl and still have dirty white forces. That just shows me. That just shows me she's inconsiderate to her shoes. She they're cheap shoes. She couldn't afford another pair for the low. The way I can get them from the ES, anything that's burnt out. And she needs to. Disagree, right? No, I strongly agree that I will not give her any action if she walks in with some dirty white forces on. No action at all. Okay. <laughs> no, no, I just feel like I'm not gonna say no, but I don't know. More than likely, I'm not. I'm not doing it because I don't know. I'm just not doing it more than likely. But it could be. It could be a work day. I don't know. I, I just don't want to say. I don't, I'm not gonna do a strong no, but I'm not doing it. Most likely, I'm not doing it. I say, don't judge a book by its cover. You're looking at something external versus something you can change. If you got the girl, you can change what she's wearing. If her mindset's good, you can still date her. You sound like a pimp. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, for me, I just feel like if she's wearing dirty Air Force Ones, she's a baddie. Because I've never seen a hot girl wearing clean Air Force Ones. Where are you from? <laughs> I'm from Texas. Uh, <laughs> different out there. Y'all right. got to zoom in on his forces. I don't know why everybody think I'm a pimp, but I don't ever carry no money or nothing like that. I just, they just show up. I, I mean, I don't know what they're talking about. I would wear women's shoes. Yeah. Mm. This is a grief, right? No. I disagree. Yeah, what? What's those off-white fours? Women got the again? best. The they fours? got the hardest colorway. Those off-white fours are women's shoes. Yeah. We're not talking about that. We're talking about high heels. No, no we're not. No, 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 no. <laughs> First off, they don't make them in my size. I'm a 14. Second of all, usually the girls' shoes are not made as strong as the boys' shoes. I'd tear them up too fast. And you're never gonna catch me in no girls' shoes. Like you said, I just like them. It's been a lot of colorways that I liked before. You know what I'm saying? That's it. You know, young thug can wear dresses. I'm just gonna cut it off with shoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they got the best colorways. I'm with girls' shoes, for sure. Yeah. Uh... Shoes gender neutral. So who decides what's a man's shoe versus what's a woman's shoe? You tell me. Heels. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. For me, it's just there's something in the back of my head that I mean, I'll wear them because I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get the the uh, the silks from you. But like, so you should be over there. I didn't put strongly disagree though. Maybe I'll put agree a little bit. Yeah, I'll go to agree. I'll go to agree, but it just kind of doesn't feel right. Cause I feel like your dad will look at me weird. You know what I mean? For sure. <laughs> I'm Deontay, I've been collecting for like 20 years. Born and raised in Portland, home, home of the sneakers. DJ partner for a long time, that's what I'm here. Buying shoes for retail is easy. Go. Buying shoes for retail. 
In Portland, after being in Portland for a couple of days, it's easy to get shoes on the shelves at Nike, everything. In Texas and LA, it's gone. What you want is gone. Can't get it. Uh, I'll go, I'll go. So, so I'll say it depends on the shoe, because like, uh, I mean, I can go to the mall and get some all white forces. Them on the shelf, retail, but I can't, I can't get like, these retail, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm not gonna strongly disagree. Hey, look, I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all like this. If I don't get it for retail, it wasn't for me. I, <laughs> it wasn't for me. So that's that. It's crazy how retail is just a number that they made up to justify that it was for you. They just made up the number. They could have made the number a thousand. Could have. Me, I say it's pretty easy because. I'm not a hype person, so I buy what I like versus buying all the hype shoes, so I'm not chasing hype shoes. And if it is a hype shoe, of course, you know, my son's a plug, so I usually get it. But for me, like I said, it, I'm not looking for like the latest, the greatest and everything else. So like, that's a cool colorway. I finally found it in a 14. I'ma just buy it for retail or usually on sale. Yo, what's good? I'm AJ. I've been collecting for 20 years now and I, I'm a sneaker enthusiast, so why not? I would spend a thousand dollars on a pair of shoes. Man, I don't care. cap. <laughs> <laughs> if the shoe is worth more than a thousand dollars, I'm spending it. Period. I ain't spending a thousand dollars on no shoes. Even if it's worth more. Sell I sell them for a thousand, but I ain't spending a thousand. I do it all the time. See, they rich. I'm broke. I'm not rich. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, there's some shoes that I would buy, but like also. The off-white Air Force One, like the yellow ones and the green ones, I just, I, like, I like them, I would wear them, but I, I'm not paying the prices for those. It's crazy. Yeah, like AJ said, you could, it could be worth more. You could sell it, or you might just like it. Life is short. Don't let, don't let the system tell you you can't have what you want. <laughs> <laughs> if you want it, then buy it, young man. Get more money. That's the pro that's not, the problem is not that it costs a thousand. The problem is that you need to get more money. I would spend a thousand if it's a shoe that I really like and I've been waiting on hard to get. And they don't, like I said, they don't make them in my size. So when they finally do, it's very limited. So yeah, I would do it. Hype shoes make my outfits better. Mm. My thing is, is you can't buy style. So the name brand on the shoe does not matter. The hype on the shoe does not matter. For me, I feel like the sneaker is the main centerpiece of the outfit. So I feel like everything else can be real minimalistic. As long as your sneaker is loud, that's the outfit. Um, I'm gonna say it ain't, it ain't on you, it's in you. You know, me and Trey could have on the same outfit, but I look 10 times better than he do, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyways, uh, so I'm in the middle, I'm over here because like they said, you know, you can't buy style, but but I could be way more dipped in J Mass, and then my shoes can let the bitch know that I got way more money too. So you know what I'm saying? At the same time, it's giving a couple different messages off at the same time. So that's why it could like you could be in the, you could be in the the cheap ver the fake versions, them fakes that you don't want, and I could be in the real versions. And she gonna know like, okay, girl, not only can he dress, but he got his priorities together, girl. He can afford this. So, so uh, I, I agree, but I don't strongly agree because I feel like the shoe don't make me, but at the same time, it's like, if I got on some popping shoes, it's like, oh, look. And then, now look, you know what I'm saying? Now you got the attention. I will wear some cheap shoes, some Air Force Ones. If y'all know, I'm gonna wear some Air Force Ones, all whites and some all blacks all day long. I can wear some hype shoes, but I feel more comfortable sometimes in just the plain shoes and ain't nobody paying attention to those and they paying attention to what I'm talking about versus what I'm wearing. Back on his pants. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he's been out there doing or smoking because he's crazy. This go back to high school when he had on them, the fake see-through green forces and I had on some I think mine was real, they was blue, but my fit was looking way better than his. He ain't never had a better fit than me in his life, I don't think so. I don't know what he's thinking. You've been asking me, what kind of beard products do you use? And what kind of cologne do you wear? He go hug the same girl, the same girl I hug. He'd be like, oh, why you didn't tell me I smell good? I got on the same cologne as J-Mass. He been trying to copy me his whole life. <laughs>
I put bra on gang. I wear mixed brands, Adidas and Nike, at the same time. Yeah, because I don't be thinking that hard. I'm lazy. I don't care. Half the time, I'll just throw it on. It don't matter to me if it go together, if the fit is it. You Sometimes you got to take some great inspiration from Adidas and some great inspiration from Nike and put it together, right? <laughs> no, I ain't doing it. Um, that's tacky. You know, you got to... <laughs> You gotta match your stuff. You can't. You can't be wearing two competitors at once. You just. You fighting against yourself. So. Yeah, he I said he would have on the same outfit as me. No, he wouldn't. He'd be in that working dirt <laughs> 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 in the working dirt hoodie with them socks. Hey, these. Hey. I wear my shoes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I would definitely not do that. I just said that earlier. Do not mix brands. Just like driving an El Camino. Is it a truck or a car? No, I mean, no. come on. <laughs> Don't mix it. You either get one or the other. I, I don't know, with me, I feel like I feel like you were in sneaker department with Jordan. It's like you mixing brands, but it's like what what's the difference with wearing Nike and Nike and Adidas? Like for for back in the day I was against it, but like as time went on, like Adidas start popping and I start wearing my Adidas sweats with Jordans. I just it, it hurt to do it at first, but then once I started doing it, it's like, what do I own? I don't own nothing. Like, I'm, I'm doing it. I, I pay for it. That's how I feel. I feel like it's just mental. It's on your mental all day long. Like, you just look down and you see your Adidas socks with your J's. It's just weird. Weird. Mm -hmm. I'm the big brother Trey always wish he had. You feel me? He always didn't try to smell like me, look like me. He like all the girls I like. Like, I had beats. He had beats. I didn't set the trend for bro his whole life. He know that shit. I care about creasing my sneakers. Go. I really don't care. I wear them to shreds. I buy them to wear them. I don't care. I'll buy more later. I don't know. Something about a busted toe box just makes the shoe a lot less appealing to me. So I'm not really rocking with it. I definitely don't care. I'm going to rock them any old kind of way. I done mowed the lines in my Raging Bull 5. so. Like it is what it is. I like to show my wear to death. I don't know, so I feel like I care, obviously, because I want to keep them looking clean, but if you wear them, they're going to, I mean, if you wear them, they're going to crease. I didn't grow up with sneakers, so I got to keep them clean as long as I can. Care enough to try not to crease them, but not to be walking funny or nothing, or looking down or nothing, or, you know. <laughs> White forces. <laughs> All right. Listen, so I don't know who this guy Trey is, but he's beefing with everybody in the competition. To me, he reminds me of the type of guy that, like, they have a separate group chat about Trey, to talk about Trey without Trey in it, because he's beefing with everybody. What's going on here? I will not date a female sneakerhead. I can't stay in the middle. <laughs> you gotta move. <laughs> for the content, I was just <laughs> I was about to say, what's the dude who, uh, who used to work for work and the white skin dude? Dylan Brooks. He wanted to be Dylan Brooks, bro. <laughs> 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 everywhere else. But I just feel like she's gonna be too masculine the more into sneakers she is. Just gotta say it. Just gotta say it. I'm not, I don't care. You know, she can like sneakers and buy sneakers. I like sneakers, so I'm gonna buy sneakers. That's just one more thing we got in common. She, as long as she's soft and nice and smell good. She ain't too masculine for me. I don't really care, you know. She likes shoes, I like shoes. She fly, I like it, you know. Why didn't you strongly disagree? Um, because I, don't, I didn't have that much of an opinion to strongly disagree, so I'm just disagreeing. Yeah, so, so I'll say, I mean, if she's cute, she's cute. I mean, I don't, being, I don't think being a sneaker has a turn off, so I'm not tripping. I would say the biggest thing is you have something in common, so you guys can do something together. And uh, you know what kind of gift you can get her at all times. That's a P. That you you got all the PS. Right. <laughs> I'm not sure if you heard his comments, but I think Big D might be a pimp. Did y'all hear that? Uh, what's the polarizing question? Do you stand 
with it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I can't wait to film more episodes just like this. So drop a comment down below and let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Also give me video suggestions for topics you guys would like to hear about. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You guys won't want to miss this next episode. I would never let you down and send my DNA. Hey, the hey, only choice I like to make what I'm aware it's today. One one I would never let you down and send my DNA. The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. I would